Hello everyone. Today in this video, you will learn how to identify slow or non-moving materials. We can identify slow or non-moving materials with the help of SAP application Fury. Here is the flow of our video. We are going to use Inventory Analysis Overview tab in SAP Fury. Second step is to change the layout. Third step is to export the report into an spreadsheet. This is the display of SAP Fury. We are going to give username and password, and then we are going to log on. Once we log on in the search bar, we are going to write Inventory Analysis Overview. This is the display of Inventory Analysis Overview. We are going to give here currency and plant number, and then we are going to press go button. We will get a drop down screen like this, and we have to press somewhere here. We will get another screen here where you can see the static sign. We have to fill that blank. In the reference date, we have to give a cutoff date till which you want to see the slow or non-moving material. Days with low consumption can be any number of days. Can be one, can be 10, 100, 500. And then we have to press this go button. Once we press this go button, we will get the details of all the items. But we have to change the report as a per hour requirement. We can do this with the help of this setting button. The next button to this setting is transfer to a spreadsheet. Once we press this setting button, we will get list of fields, whichever field or column name, which is relevant for our report, we are going to select them and then press this OK button. Once we do this, all the columns, all the fields which we have selected will come into our report. And the next step is to export the report into a spreadsheet by using the button next to the setting, which is onto the right hand side. These two columns, days without consumption and days without posting can help us to identify slow or non-moving materials. Because those items which have higher number of days of without consumption or without posting are basically those materials which are slow or non-moving. So once we export this report into a spreadsheet, we can use filter and we can apply filter onto the days from high to low. So that's it guys from my side. I hope you like my video. Kindly like, share and comment and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.